Hello, it is May 21st and welcome to Lofty May Vlogs. My name is Tracy and I'm the host of the Knitting on the Float podcast. It has chilled down here in the Vancouver area. Today I came outside and I realized I needed to wear a jacket, but I didn't have time to go back and grab one, so I was a bit cold earlier today. As soon as I got home, I put on a jacket and I'm still warming up. But I have something wonderful that will help me keep warm that I'm going to share with you in today's vlog. I am so, so excited. One of the test knits that I've done has been released and oh, I cannot wait to share it. But before I do that, we do need to do some work in the loft today and I'm, I'm telling you, it's just going to be a little flaky thing but it's like a big celebration thing too so sometimes on a Sunday we just need to do a little bit of flaky but a little bit of work too so we're gonna do that and then we will sit down have a nice cup of warm beverage because as I said it's a bit chilly and I'm going to share what knitting I got up to yesterday or what I can of that and then I'm finally finally going to be able to share this wonderful test knit with you that has been finished for a while and has been waiting to share so I'm just ecstatic that we're going to be able to do that. I don't see much going on off of the float house today. There's a few bird sounds in the tree but it is kind of quiet so I'm not sure whether we're going to see much nature. I did see one of the mama ducks with three little babies earlier today so I'm not sure whether that's the mama who had three babies or whether that's the mama who had 11 and she's now lost a bunch of them. Hard to say. Anyway we'll look for a little bit of nature and then we'll go inside and do our quick task before we sit down and talk about the crafting which oh, I have had to walk down the dock a little bit, but here is a mama who has two little ducklings with her. They're a little bit bigger. But always lovely to see. Jump, little guy, jump! You can do it! Come on everybody, cheer him on! He can do it! Or maybe he can't. Today's task involves the ladder, a hammer, and some nails. So while it may be a little bit of a fluffy task, it's got some oomph behind it. I would say Greg is definitely enjoying the loft space. Would you agree? Yes. Yes, it's very nice. And of course you've got a beautiful view, but what do you say about this stuff that's over here? What do you say about that stuff right over there, Greg? Here? Yeah. It's got to go. It's got to go. Yes, you told me it was migrated. My stuff had migrated over to your space. It will go in the days ahead. Today's task is easy, but it's also not. And that's because we are going to do a little bit of decoration in each of the windows. So there's one window on the craft side and there's another window on the office side. And today we are going to celebrate a new pattern release and we are going to hang up my beautiful bunting and I'm going to pop it up at the top of the window. I think that is a great way to celebrate a new pattern release and 
it needs to get done. It needs to get decorated up here. And I think that is a fun thing to do this Sunday, May 21st. So I'm just going to need to, here's where the work comes in. I'm gonna to need to move things out of this area so that I can pull the ladder in, get up on the ladder. I'm going to put a nail on either side of the window that I will then secure the end. I may just use one of those fold back clips and clip it on and then we'll see how it looks. So that is going to be the task for today. I have basically just moved everything over here so that I can then get into this space and be able to reach the corners of the window. And it shouldn't actually take too long. And then maybe I will move everything back to where it was so that tomorrow our task is a little bit easier. Plus, I have something very, very exciting to share about tomorrow's task. I have the ladder set up. I have my finishing nails in my pocket, hammer at the ready. Let's get to today's task. My original thought was to use full back clips and just pop them on here and then hook them on the nails that I've put in. But I've had a better idea. I have this lovely tin that has some rose gold bulb pins and instead of having a big clunky fold back clip this little bulb pin can just easily be pinned onto the end of the tie here turned and then can hang on that little nail. So a little less obtrusive. So that is what I'm going to do. Brilliant, right? There we are. A little bit of fun bunting in the windows and now it's off of the sewing table and in its home. Now to do the other side, which shouldn't take long at all. Here we are. The beautiful mini bunting is up over the windows and they are on full display on the office side and on the crafty side too, so looking fantastic. I just need to move these things over and then we're going to have a quick little chat about the cubby. Exciting news coming. I am super excited to share with you that Danny is donating a copy of her Ivy Cottage socks pattern. And to win this, any guesses? Something we've been talking about the past couple of days, and if you've already done this, you're already entered. If you haven't, you've got until tomorrow, which is Monday, to get your guess in. So, I've been asking, how many skeins of yarn do you think can fit 
in this cubby here. And these are skeins of yarn, 100 gram skeins, and they will be in plastic bags. I will squish out as much of that air as possible. So how many 100 gram skeins of yarn do you think can fit in here? And the person who is closest to the actual number that fits in here will win a copy of Danny's new pattern of the Ivy Cottage socks. So lots and lots of fun. So if you've got your guess already in, wonderful, you are entered. And if you would love a copy of the pattern or perhaps you've already purchased it and you would like to gift it to somebody, you'd like to win a copy, then please make sure to put in the comments how many skeins of yarn do you think can fit in this space here? So I will be doing this task tomorrow, Monday, so get those guesses in. Right now, we are going to head downstairs. It is tea time, and I'm going to share what I worked on yesterday and this morning, and I'm finally going to be able to share my wonderful Ivy Cottage socks with you. I've just popped out onto the dock. I was mentioning earlier, it is chilly out here. And this Canada Goose here, I think she has some little ones that she is sitting on and protecting and keeping them warm. But, Oh, she does, she does. She's got some little ones that she's got underneath her wing. Because as I said, it is chilly out here today. What a great mama. They don't want to be kept warm anymore. They want to go swimming. Oh, there's four of them. Oh. Hunger has taken over more than keeping warm. It is definitely a very, very blustery day out there. I just popped out and was able to catch the footage of the goose with the little four goslings that she was trying to cover and keep warm. That's how cold it is. It is chilly. So for today, I have my wonderful Julia Smith Ceramics blustery day mug. And can you see the steam coming off of here? There is a nice hot cup of tea. My Marks and Spencer extra strong in here, ready for me to warm up after popping outside in that windy, windy weather. The one good thing, I'm not battling with rays, so the things I get to share with you will hopefully be pretty true to color today, and I'm not having to worry about the the sunshine leaving harsh shadows and things like that. So, <sighs> I know, blustery days, they come, they go. We need them, even though we don't necessarily love them, but I guess we need all sorts of weather. So for today, let us cheer to all of the wonderful weather types, whether it is sunshine, snow, rain, just plain cloud, sleet, hail, all those things. We need them for variation and I don't know what else we need them for, but we need them for cheers today. So cheers to all of the wonderful weather all around. 
Now that I have blathered away about all the different types of weather and what they're good for, and I don't think I quite answered that one, it is time to get to the crafting that I have been up to, and I am so, so excited to share with you what is on the couch beside me. First off, I will share my upcoming test knit. This one is going to be released on June 1st. It is in my lovely little bobbins bag. This is a project by Helen Stewart, who is Curious Handmade, and this is the second pattern from the Handmade Sock Society Season 5. I've been sharing this quite a bit because this is what I need to be focusing all of my attention on. I am using some gorgeous, gorgeous yarn, and because we don't have shadows coming through, oh, the color is showing up beautifully. This is Mist, and it is by the Wool Barn on Plush Sock, which is now renamed Soft Sock. It's an 85% merino and 15% nylon. I'm not sure what Scout is barking at. She's not barking to get in. Sometimes she barks and then the swan comes along, but I can't guarantee what she's doing. Anyway, this is a beautiful skein of the wool barn and I need to let Scout in. Our cat Tasha had been standing at the door and I guess getting Scout all riled up so she was barking away. Anyway, they are both over there and I get to get back to this gorgeous, gorgeous skein of yarn and it is attached to a beautiful, beautiful project. And on June 1st, I will be so excited to share this project with you. So where am I in the sock? I am now through the heel flap. I have done the heel turn and I am now, I've picked up my stitches. I'm now in the gusset of sock one of pattern two of the Sock Society. <sighs> it will be a very, very exciting day when I get to share that with you. But that is June 1st. So until then, it will be me sharing my gorgeous project bag and my yarn over the next week and a bit until I can actually share the pattern with you. Because sharing test knits, it really is so fun. I am so excited to finally be able to share with you what was living in my lovely unicorn bag that was made for me by my friend Lorraine. And I had used this gorgeous sock set by Sherry Iris, and it is called A Quilt, a Quilt to Dream Under, and it is absolutely beautiful. I love green and pink, and even though this has a little bit of yellow in it, which if you've been with me for a while, you don't, you know I don't love yellow so much. This was an absolute dream to knit with. And with this mini, <gasps> glorious. So in this bag was living a lovely, lovely project. And that was the Ivy Cottage Socks. So these are the Ivy Cottage Socks, and this is a new pattern that was just released today by Danielle George. And Danielle George is Danny. She's most known as Danny of Little Bobbins. And oh my goodness, this pattern was so, so lovely to knit. And this yarn and this pattern were just heaven sent, a dream come true. Can we come up with any more analogies? It was amazing. Such a simple pattern, but my favorite part of the sock is the heel flap because the heel flap is just the pattern continued and It is absolutely lovely. It's got fold lines in it because it's been on the sock blockers too long. <sighs> that happens. 
Anyway, this is the back of the sock to the heel. And then, of course, the front. So it starts off with this amazing little few round detail of the mini. And I love that on a pair of socks. I think that's a lot of fun. A little bit of two by two ribbing. And then we go into the patterning section through the leg into the heel flap, which is amazing. Nathaniel is back from cadets. He had band, so he's got his trumpet with him. We then have a square heel turn, or not, um, yeah, square heel turn, okay. Oh, what is that, a clarinet? Ugh. <laughs> I played the clarinet. I did not enjoy playing the clarinet. It bothered my teeth, the reed. He has a trumpet and a clarinet. <sighs> Don't start playing it now. Please and thank you. Anyway, let's get back to these gorgeous socks. <sighs> a vlog is supposed to have a little bit more of that reality, right? <sighs> Can't cut everything out. Anyway, this gorgeous, gorgeous, Heel flap turns into a square heel. There is a lovely gusset. And then the foot continues the patterning down to a beautiful barn toe done in that highlight color, the little mini. And oh, look at that. <sighs> Can I tell you how much? I love these socks and while I don't love blustery weather, I do love the fact that I can now wear these socks on blustery days because it's chilly out and sometimes you want to put on hand knit socks and I will tell you, I debated instead of using my blustery, turned it the wrong way. My blustery day mug, I debated using my mine, mine, mine mug because I will tell you, these socks are definitely mine, mine, mine. I am not gifting these ones because I love them. A little bit of history also about these. So this pattern was sent to me a little while ago from Danny asking if I would like to test it and I absolutely love test knitting for Danny. And when I saw the name of the socks, the Ivy Cottage, I thought I knew exactly what I wanted to use. So back in November, when my mom and I went to England, we stayed in a place called Breton Cottage and it was um, in a little muse. And I had several wonderful knitters over on a lovely Saturday afternoon in November. And Danny was one of the people and her mom, so it was lovely to meet them. So Danny designed this sock and Lorraine was there and gifted me this bag and my lovely Sharon, the knitting project, my friend Sharon, gifted me this gorgeous set from Sherry Iris. So to me, the Ivy Cottage socks are an embodiment of the day at Breton Cottage when I had several of my lovely friends come to the cottage and oh, we had just such a lovely, lovely day. So when I wear these, I will remember those friends and also remember that lovely day. So definitely these socks are mine and I'm not sharing them with anybody because they are just too precious for me. Anyway, that is the knitting that I got up to yesterday, this morning and in the past little while. So finally glad to be able to share this gorgeous pattern with you and 
keep you up to date on how the sock society is going. Anyway, I think Scout, she's pushing her water dish around, which means, Mom, I need water. So I'm going to quickly give her a little bit of water, and then I'm going to come back and say goodbye. This evening, we are going to the neighbors for a potluck. I have made a wonderful trifle. I still need to make the whipping cream to go on top. So I need to say goodbye. Wish you all a wonderful day, evening, whatever time it is for you, and let you know that I will see you tomorrow when we are going to start figuring out how much yarn can fit in the cubby. So please make sure you put your guests in in the comments, and then I will, once I've got all those guesses and counted all the yarn, I will let the winner know who they are so that they can win a copy of these beautiful, beautiful Ivy Cottage socks. The pattern, not my socks. We've already discussed that. These are mine, but oh, such a lovely pattern to knit. I will see you tomorrow when we will be back with some yarn stuffing, hopefully some nature. We usually see some. And, of course, some tea. I'm hoping it's not going to be a blustery day. And whatever knitting I get up to, I will chatter about that too. Although, we are going out tonight, so it may not be a whole lot. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow, and I look forward to it. Bye-bye. The other day I had to come in here to get the ladder and it was basically a death trap and I almost tripped and that night I said to the boys, this room needs to get cleaned out. So the next day you saw the boys on the dock during the vlog and they were straightening this room. I am very thankful to say that today when I had to get the hammer and the ladder that I was able to come in here and it was not a complete death trap.